Did we get something wrong in the Nightbird campaign that's crucial to the Uncle Howdy storyline? Maybe. This has been in my head since last night's Smackdown, and I really wanted to make a theory video on it to get your thoughts. Now, first of all, I want to reiterate, we learned during Nightbird campaign that most things had two meanings, okay? Now, obviously, a lot of those things that we thought were obvious, they're obvious at the time until you're presented with new evidence. During the Nightbird campaign and since, we've all believed the theory that Uncle Howdy rescued the members of the Wyatt Six. He set them free, right? Now, obviously, that's still true. He did. The members of the Wyatt Six really weren't doing anything. And now, look at the position they found themselves in. He did save them. But there's something else that we now know about the Wyatt Six that we've got to talk about. If it wasn't blatantly obvious on Monday Night Raw, on Friday Night Smackdown, we got full confirmation that the members of the Wyatt Six are indeed portraying the puppets of the Firefly Funhouse. Now, it's important to note, we don't know to what degree they're playing the puppets. But when Howdy told us that he set them free, was he actually talking about the Funhouse puppets and not the people under the masks? The entirety of the Firefly Funhouse actually originated from the mind of Bray Wyatt, and not just creatively. From a storyline point of view, this was all in Bray's head. This is a projection of his thoughts. The puppets represented memories from his past. Abby the Witch, Sister Abigail, Huskus the Pig Boy, Husky Harris, Ramblin' Rabbit, his conscience, and Mercy the Buzzard, Wayland Mercy. That would be revealed to us on the Bray Wyatt Becoming Immortal documentary. Now, what I will say is, while that was the truth then, WWE Bo Dallas can manipulate whatever this was and change it if they needed to. This becomes more interesting when you consider what's been happening on social media with a certain postman of ours, Adam Pearce, who was subjected this week to having his social media accounts actually hacked, we presume, by Uncle Howdy, and having his name changed to Postman, a picture of Postman Pierce being put up as the profile, and the banner, the word remember, being put on the actual description. Yesterday, Adam Pearce would reveal to us that Chad Gable is just shaken up, and he'll be back on Monday Night Raw. The video would get taken over, though, by Uncle Howdy, but Adam Pearce would say something crucial on this. He wouldn't say it's official. He would say, thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for allowing me to deliver this message. Now, obviously, delivering the message is something a postman would do. And we all know from recent experience how much Uncle Howdy likes people saying the words thank you. So did Uncle Howdy make Adam Pearce remember that he's postman Pearce another iteration of the Firefly Funhouse coming back to life through whatever means Uncle Howdy's using to do it. If you remember back, LA Knight was kidnapped. Now, when he was kidnapped, they actually put the Uncle Howdy mask over his face, and we actually believed at the time they were trying to brainwash him. Is that what's happening here? A lot of people are finding a connection between Adam Pearce and the therapist, who we would watch go into like a trance-like state as she would basically tell us she's okay, but you could tell she really wasn't. Is Adam Pearce doing the same thing? During the Nightbird campaign, we were shown this image, and obviously you can't make out much, but I'm pretty sure that mask doesn't seem to actually go with any of the members of the Wyatt Six's new masks. There was the theory, though, that this was a woman. Some people thought Alexa Bliss, others did say the therapist. And on the Adam Pearce video last night, look at this. You can actually see that mask again, this time over the face of Adam Pearce. And is this a sign that they've brainwashed him or something like that? Now, having the raw general manager basically in your back pocket is never going to be a bad thing for a faction like the Wyatt Six. That could be what that's all about. But it just hits me that this is another character of the Firefly Funhouse coming back after all this time. So it very easily could be that the members of the Wyatt Six are playing the puppets because Uncle Howdy has brainwashed them to. Uncle Howdy wants to feel closer to Bray, so having the puppets come to life makes him feel like Bray's memories are around him all of the time. 
the one flaw with that theory is the masks themselves. Obviously, these masks look amazing. But are they actually going to be able to wrestle in them? Joe Gacy's specifically, it looks like his vision's going to be limited dramatically in that kind of mask. His breathing, etc. So can he wrestle in it? I don't know. And obviously, that's something we still got to find out. Will they take the masks off when they wrestle a match? Maybe. But if we go under this theory and add the whole theory of remember who you are, we can start applying those theories to Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is going to come back to WWE, we hope. And when she does, will she be with the Wyatt Six? That is a massive question that no one's got an answer to. Now, obviously, we don't know when that will be. It could be months in the future. But we can think about it from here because Alexa Bliss was another character in the Firefly Funhouse. If the theory about the puppets and Howdy is true, then surely Howdy would want Alexa Bliss with him as well. A lot of people are looking at the crown that Alexa Bliss wore at WrestleMania 37. Some people do say it's a bat. I think it is indeed a bird. And if that's true, if it's an actual night bird, that is massive for this, right? While we've got no doubt now that the Veil Bride is Abby the Witch, Sister Abigail, now Nikki Cross is playing that role, that could leave Alexa Bliss's character really interestingly open to play Lily. And no, not the geeky doll that everyone loved, but the deity that Lily is named after. The female night demon, Lilith. The one roadblock with this theory is that Alexa never had Lily in the Firefly Funhouse itself. She did, however, have Lily on Alexa's playground, which Alexa would reveal on WWE TV is what The Fiend built for her. So it's still the same world, just in a different variation of it. It would make sense as well, because we continue to see the Pluto logo on WWE TV. Now, the Pluto logo is just a logo. The logo for the Wyatt Six is this logo, which is the Pluto logo with the Nightbird. So why just use the Pluto logo? Is it because Nightbird hasn't arrived yet? To add to that, there is also the belief that Lilith actually means Nightbird. Now, if it doesn't get more clear and more circumstantial than that, I don't know what does. I'm sure over the next few weeks, we're going to explore the relationship between Howdy and the members of the Wyatt Six. Do they do as they're told? Does Howdy order them to do things? Do they do things because they want to do things? Are they grateful to Howdy? These sort of things will be explored. And obviously, that's going to be really interesting. The Adam Pearce stuff, again, we're going to see that probably play out over the next few weeks. Is he going to allow the Wyatt Six in because Howdy's told him to? But let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Peace!